we are given the function f of x equals to x plus 3. Find the inverse function. So let us write f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So that means what? y is equal to f of x. So you get y is equal to 2x plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides. We are, where are we headed with this? We are trying to solve for x in terms of y, okay? So we get y minus 3 is equal to 2x. Divide both sides by 2. So what do we get? y minus 3 over 2 is equal to x. Change y to x and x to the inverse function and we have f inverse x x minus 3 over 2 x minus 3 over 2 so let's look at the original function when you put x equals 0 what do we get when you put x, x equals 0 so y is equal to 2x plus 3 right when you put x equals 0, what do we get for y? 0, 3. For the inverse function, when you substitute x equals 3, what do we get back? We get 0 back. All right? So when you substitute x equals 3, 3 minus 3 over 2, and that is 0 over 2, and that is 0. So this is 3, 0. So f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Our inverse function is x minus 3 over 2, correct? So let's call this, just to make it convenient for all of us, let's call it g. So g of x is x minus 3 over 2. So why don't we try and do what is, why don't we determine f of g of x. So you write the f of x as before. So it is 2, wherever we have x, substitute g of x plus 3. And what is g of x? g of x is x minus 3 over 2. x minus 3 over 2. And you see that 2 and 2 cancels out. 2 and 2 cancels out. So what do we get? x minus 3 plus 3. What is x minus 3 plus 3? It's just x. And what is g of f of x? What is g of f of x? So we write the function g and replace x with f of x. What is g? x minus 3 over 2, right? So g of x is f x minus 3 over 2. We erase we erase x and in that space we put f of x and f of x is 2x plus 3. So this is nothing but 2x plus 3 minus 3 over 2, and that is 2x over 2, and that is equal to x. So f of g of x is x, g of f of x is x, 